So this question is a diagram question. It's more specifically a table. And it just looks, it looks like an XY table, right? We have X values on top. We have Y values on the bottom. So the question actually tells us that some values of X and their corresponding values of Y are shown in the table above. So we see that where A is a constant. Okay, we got that. If there is a linear relationship, okay, so linear relationship always means Y equals MX plus B. If there is a, re a linear relationship between X and Y, which of the following equations represents the relationship? Okay, so I need to figure out what M is. I need to figure out what B is. Well, M is my slope. And slope is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So I need to, I need basically, I need to have two ordered pairs. So I'm going to choose the first two that are in the table. So that is a comma zero. That's my X1, Y1. And three, a comma negative A. That's like my X2 and Y2. So to replace Y2 minus Y1 with the terms here from my ordered pair, I'd have negative A minus zero. To replace x2 minus x1, again, from the numbers here in my ordered pairs, I'd have 3a minus a. Negative a minus 0 is just negative a. 3a minus a is 2a. And that all simplifies to negative 1 half. So m equals negative 1 half. Next, I want to find my b value, the y-intercept. I can do that by plugging in an ordered pair right, and plugging in by slope that I just found. So I'm going to go with the a comma zero for my x value and my y value. So instead of y equals mx plus b, I replace y with zero. Again, that's coming from the order pair here. You can choose either one you want, but this I think is the easiest. So I plug in zero for y. I plug in negative one half for m because that's what we just found m to be. And I plug in a for x, right, because again, that comes from the ordered pair up here. And then I have my plus b. So then if I add it one half a to both sides, I'd end up with one half a equals b. So there's my b value. So now I go back to my y equals mx plus b, replacing y with, um, I'm sorry, keeping y, but replacing m with negative one half and replacing b with positive one half a. So lastly, um, I want to see, well, all, all the answer choices are in standard form. So I'm going to multiply the entire equation by 2, which will give me 2y equals negative x plus a. And lastly, I want to make sure I have the x term on the left-hand side with the y term. So I'm going to add x to both sides, and that leaves me with x plus 2y equals a, right, because these cross out. And that tells me that the correct answer here is choice a.